Alrighty, hello everybody. Um, I've been working on this little project that I wanted to do a quick little video of. Um, we grow gourmet mushrooms on our farm uh, in a clean room in the barn. And I've been building a CO2 monitoring system um, with a relay that will basically turn the relay on when the CO2 hits a limit and then uh, exhaust the excess CO2 and then take in fresh, uh, more highly oxygenated air. Um, yeah, so let me show you what we got. It's pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with it. Excuse my messy disc. That's the way I am. <laughs> okay, so we've got a SCD30 um, from Sincerian. It's the just the breakout board from Adafruit. So it's a direct CO2 measurement versus equivalent CO2. And then here I've got a feather tripler, uh, a relay board, a feather relay, and an ESP32 S3 TFT board. And then I've got just a nice long um, I squared C cable there. And then it's all running off a battery, but it could run off USB. Okay, so you'll see that it's got the temperature, the relative humidity, and the carbon. And then you can see the limit set. Um, so if I blow on this, the CO2 should pop right up and then you'll see the, uh, you'll see this click on. The reason it didn't click on at 2029 is there's actually a 50 parts per million buffer because I don't want it to turn on too early or too, too often. Anyway, so, okay, I really got it to crank up there with my with my breath. Anyhow, that'll come back down shortly. Uh, and then you'll see there is a IP address on there. So because it's an ESP32, um, it is Wi-Fi enabled. So I'm pretty happy with this part. We should see the CO2 turn off any second now. There we go. All right, so if we look on my this web page I've made, that's the same IP address as on the um, as on the board, if you see there, whoops, there we go. So this is a little web server that's running off of the uh, ESP32. And I'll zoom in a little bit, but basically it's live updating with the data from the CO2 monitor. Um, it gives a little readout to, you know, just to make sure uh, we know the relay is off or on. I'll show you that in a second. Um, and then you can also set the CO2 limit from here. So I'll show you, for example. So if I set this to 1,000, it actually sends a post, um, an AJAX post, to the web server, and that gets handled for, by the ESP32 and then changes the internal flash on the ESP32, which is where the uh, CO2 limit variable is stored. So if I click that, uh, it'll turn the relay on. If I go back here, you'll see the limit is now 1,000, where it was 2,000 before. And again, that's on flash. So even if you have a, res a restart or like a power loss, um, it'll stay at the limit you set, which is nice. And then the only other thing, and it doesn't look, I actually optimized this for mobile, so it doesn't look great on my desktop, but I'm using my phone to record. I put a restart button. So if you click restart, um, it'll restart this the uh, ESP32 remotely. Um, which is nice because that, uh, just in case we have a weird condition where it needs to be restart, we don't have to restart it, we don't have to bring it back to the computer. So yeah, so that's our mushroom CO2 monitor, uh, at least its current state. I'm sure I could invent some more uh, problems and features to make, but I'm pretty happy with it otherwise. And it's using primarily Adafruit uh, products. So I really like Adafruit's feather line of things. I find that these tripler boards and quad boards are really handy, so I use them for everything. That's an NFC, um, uh, I squared C NFC generator, and then I've got an FM radio station that I'm working on here with another ESP32. Um, yeah, so there we have it.